Hello coming friends! So today is going to be a new video, uh, new for me, uh, new for you on my channel. Um, I put this journal here just you not know, to stare at the empty desk. <laughs> um, what is going to be? I call it uh, Colorist Diary and from the name you can guess that it's going to be kind of like a diary. I want to film uh, short cards during the week, what I've been doing, what I've been coloring, maybe new purchases, something like that. And then at the end of the week to put all them together in one video and to show you, share with you my coloring week. Uh, I'm not sure whether uh, it's going to be interesting for you this type of video. Uh, so if you do like and you want me to continue, please let me know, leave a comment, uh, like this video, uh, because I don't have that much free time and uh, of course I wouldn't want to waste my time on doing something that is not interesting for you, for at least many people. Uh, so please let me know. And uh, now let me start. So it's Tuesday today and I think it's time to start coloring something for uh, weekly challenge find and color uh, for the prompt frog and from all the frogs that I have found in my collection of books I feel like coloring this guy <laughs> uh, from Enchanted Forest uh, by Joanna Besford. Um, it's quite unexpectedly for myself uh, because I think I have more interesting illustrations for this prompt uh, but my inner feeling is like this illustration is appealing most of all <laughs> and um, this guy I see him as a bridegroom I don't know maybe because of his um, let's say it, face expression uh, besides his among flowers and all these dragonflies it looks like um, he's sailing to his bride and uh, so to make him more lo looking more smart more presentable I want to add a bow tie to him to look more like a bridegroom I haven't decided on color palette yet he's going to be green but not like um, grass green I think it's going to be more like bluish green maybe uh, with hints of turquoise uh, something like that and so I will start now with trying to draw this uh, bow tie and we'll see how it looks so that was what I was able to color today, the guy, and uh, that's it so far. But anyway, I'm pleased with the result. As you can see, I draw not only a bow, bow tie, and also I decided that he needs a top hat. Uh, there was a mm, dragonfly here, so I had to cover that. There is still some traces of the dragonfly. I will need to mask that later. And look at him. <laughs> really handsome smart guy. A real bridegroom. So I'm happy how the guy looks uh, so far. And um, uh, the following days I will continue coloring. I, I believe I will color flowers and this part tomorrow. But we'll see. And that was my coloring day today. So friends, today is Saturday. I haven't filmed for a couple of days. Uh, there was no good lighting at the time when I was coloring. And... Uh, maybe I was not exactly in mood for filming <laughs> uh, 
anyway I uh, I did my progress with this frog from Enchanted Forest and uh, I have colored that much so far as you can see um, not much is left but I need to finish this illustration today to take part in Sunday's um, find and color challenge uh, final slideshow um, I like how it looks so far as I mentioned it's a bridegroom and I used a lot of uh, different brands of pencils for coloring and Durant um, Light Fast, uh, Polychromos and then this um, budget pencil from Moon Mart and um, best of all I liked Durant Light Fast on this paper they turn out really so bright and they blend more easily than other pencils so I will continue coloring this frog, this illustration today and what else I've been doing during these days uh, you know I have a bunch of um, old gel pens they're quite old and um, like there's little bit of ink and this one little bit of ink but uh, they are not finished yet and I think it's a shame to throw them away like this when still there is some ink and so I decided to do kind of challenge for myself um, finish old gel pens <laughs> and so I I choose a very simple illustration mandala from this The Secret Lagoon coloring book and I started using these gel pens as the result I finished this mandala and I finished maybe 5-6 uh, gel pens <laughs> completely you can notice there is uh, different greens like uh, somewhere it's darker somewhere it's lighter but on the whole it doesn't it's not that noticeable uh, and uh, I'm planning to finish all those old uh, gel pens uh, there is quite a lot of uh, this type of mandalas in this book so I'm planning to continue with this uh, also I want to show you what I have bought during this week um, some new materials and tada I've got Posca <coughs> um, before I had only white Posca and in our new art shop they they brought more Posca uh, different colors and so I couldn't resist it uh, this set is like uh, pastel colors it's the with the thin uh, tip 1M uh, they look very, really cute and very thin uh, tip indeed so I'm excited to use them maybe for uh, covering uh, black lines um, for something else obviously and another set is <coughs> this one again um, thin a tip six colors there is one white color and they are different from these ones but look uh, same I mean in appearance uh, so I'm excited and also I bought um, Pilot Pinter it's called uh, water based pigment ink paint markers mm, I think it's something like Posca as well 12 base colors so I'm curious to try this as well not as thin a tip as in Posca but uh, thin enough so I'm curious and also I've got uh, this uh, Stabila how you call it? 
high text markers in pastel colors. That's the main reason that I've got this uh, because of pastel colors. I thought uh, they look nice, <laughs> cute, and uh, pastel colors I love. So we'll try this as well in the near future. So these were my purchases during this week and my uh, coloring progress. I hope it was interesting for you. If you like this video, please uh, leave me a comment, let me know, um, like this video. Uh, so I would know uh, whether it's interesting for you, whether I should continue doing videos like this. Uh, so that was all for today. Uh, see you soon. Bye.